just to double check my measurement. So when we cut this off here, these straps will stay there. When I slide the new roof on and see how it fits here, I can tell if we're close because that strap is right up into the joint or the uh, bend in that roof line. Now we're ready. I welded these in there so that when we cut this roof off, it'll help support it a little bit so it won't bow as much. Really, I should have used angle iron, but because of this roll bar being here, it wouldn't fit in there a bit. And I probably, it's probably overkill on this car because it's got this roll cage in there and the down tubes that tie the front and the rear frame rails together. So, and then it's got subframe connectors underneath it. But on a typical car, you'd want to weld a piece of angle iron in there to support the front part of the car and the back part of the car because otherwise the only thing supporting it is your rocker panel molding and the floor pin, which is pretty weak. I'm laying the tape right on that edge, right around there. I'm letting it come straight across. We're going to cut it right here on both sides. It should be pretty close to where the roof that we're grafting on here will line right up to it. And then I'll just cut it across here somewhere and get the big part of the roof out of the way. And then we'll start cutting little piece of, pieces of it out and get it down to where it's easy to get to all the inside bracing and all that. So it'll come apart pretty quick. <laughs> One more cut and the roof's off. All right, now we cut all this out. So this bracing coming up through here, the uh, rear deck's gotta come out. All of this, these panels here, they all gotta come out. Uh, the interior bracing here up to the quarter panel, all that comes out because it's all different than a f for a fastback. So what we'll do is we'll just chop it right up through there on both sides, get the big piece out of the way, start whittling away at all the uh, small pieces, get them out of the way, get down to where we can cut off, trim all this out. And it, we can trim all that with the Sawzall, with the big, cut it all out, get it completely out of the way. It'll come apart quick that way. And then we'll have to come back and drill all the spot welds out, get this bracing off because the new uh, top, when it comes on, it's got a something similar to this, a shape different, but it, it rests right there on the uh, wheelhouse and gets welded back into place. With a sawzall, it shakes it so much, if we clamp those together, it'll stiffen it up a little bit and it'll cut easier. Woo! A little at a time. All right, that's where we're cutting that. close. See, we'll let Justin drill all the spot walls out of here and across this edge. We'll get that little chunk out of there. Then we'll uh, do the same thing here. These are actually brazed from the factory, so we'll cut through that brazing and take this little corner piece out because a coupe is different than a fastback. Now we're going to take our uh, spot wall cutter. He'll uh, put a little dimple where all the spot walls are at. We'll take the spot weld cutter and drill the spot welds out and that big chunk of metal will come right off there and it'll be nice and clean. Now you got to kind of gauge it because you only want to go through this metal and you don't want to go through that metal. This is living proof. You can teach a monkey to do this. <laughs> Spin it fast and don't put no pressure on it at all until it starts cutting a circle in it. Thank you. 
So you ain't got it even, you're cutting on one side, not the other. You gotta get a square with the panel. All right, now you gotta make sure that you got through all of it. You didn't hear, I know. Huh. So drill a little deeper on that one. Hold it a minute. If you watch this real close, when you're drilling that, mm -hmm. once you go through this panel and it touches this panel, you're gonna little, see a little puff of dust because usually there's some surface rust behind it. When you see that puff of dust, you're through this first one. And if you watch that real close, uh, you'll be able to tell when you're through it. When you see that puff of dust, you're going through all the way through this metal and you're just catching the rust buildup that's in between the two panels because they'll always have a little bit. Go ahead. You gotta spin it before you push it in. Spin it wide open before you... See, and you're not getting it square with this panel. That, your drill has to be square. If you've got it angled too far down, it'll catch and throw you off. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. see the little bit of rust that's in behind that panel you'll always see that on them yeah. when you drill it when you see a little puff of that uh, dust come up you're all the way through it on these up here but you can actually use a drill bit on those instead of that spot well cutter we can just take a regular drill and drill all the way through these because that's where we're going to weld that new panel back in it's going to come down on this back side we got to have a hole through this anyway to plug weld it together so all of these around here, you can use that drill bit, that step bit. Okay. It's a lot easier to drill through them, and then you can drill through it big enough to get that off. When it's drilled all the way through and loose, this should pop right off the back of it. You need to go one more. That's it. See, that one's loose. We got this one, we got to drill holes in, get, get it cleaned up and all. Okay. So if you're done inside there with all the drilling. Same thing to the other side. I'm gonna take grinder and grind off the little nubs from the spot weld and dress it up. I'm gonna these down here to do it that way. We're gonna drill the spot welds out of this side of the quarter. We won't. We only have to do one side, so we can move the quarter over a little bit to get that uh, lip to fall under it. So we should be able to put it under that side over there, and then pull that quarter out drop it down and put the quarter back over the top of the quarter on this side so we only have to do one side of it. 